All right, uh, viewers sent me this video. Interesting. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an uh, excerpt of the first minute. To everybody here, to everybody is a descendant, here is a descendant of a tribe that makes up, of a tribe the, that makes six up Aboriginal the six that is Aboriginal the treaties. That is the foundation of all international law. Of all international law, including today. To begin with. To begin with. I'm going to name those six treaties. I'm going to name those six treaties. Now you won't find them in your university library. So here they are. American Indian tribes were known as the American Empire. Now here's the treaties. And we're not talking about the recent one to ten that stole this country. We're talking about treaties before Columbus that we have with the rest of the world. Canes of authority. Wampum belts. And peace pipe treaty. There's three. All Asians and minor Asians were under the Palladium of Troy Treaty. Palladium of Troy Treaty. All blacks, Arabs, and Israelites were under the Seal of Solomon Treaty. All Sac. Okay, so. All right, so it seems that if I say Americu Empire, there are things that recognizes uh, the Americu uh, Empire. Um, right there, all right? Now, the more we dig into 18,000 results. Now, you've got to understand when you say fucking results for an internet search, uh, you know, you're in the fucking millions, you know, 100,000. 18,000 is a very low fucking number, right? So, I almost dropped and dropped that. Okay, so that's pretty interesting, a low search result, uh, especially in this day and age. Now, when you sit there and say, now there's something popped up, I thought it was pretty interesting. And the meaning of the Kausawitha and the Turo Wampum Belt uh, in the Hadassino Had Had Hayod den Osini, the Iroquois. Now, I don't know why this name um, stands out to me. Uh, it, it reminds me of uh, something out of. Uh, Book of Maccabees, um, but whatever, you know. So again, this will lead you to the Confederacy. Again, a uh, funny thing is, is that you know it, it's brought up right now. Uh, earlier, I'm talking to you about, of all things, people that you can listen to, and, and you sit there and say, uh, Ron March, you know, this guy actually talked about this Confederacy. This confederate flag that the white man has so much pride in he stole that from the Indian confederacy the iroquois confederacy and most people can't pronounce his name so they always say the iroquois confederacy confederacy the hoden osani osani confederacy anyway that's my best attempt for today now again when we scroll through we start looking uh palladium of troy treaty here we have uh, Law Writings Introduction to the Palladium of Troy Treaty, okay? Uh, it's on Facebook. Uh, Wikipedia, okay? Uh, Knows know something about it exists, right? As we start looking through peace pipe treaties, and uh, okay, now we have Eric Keynes of Authority. Everything that's being said is uh, on a website called New Age Fraud, claiming that it's what, a fraud? All right, so now it's okay. It just, it just means... Somebody else knows it exists and they disagree with it, which is fine. Uh, 
Now, this is just an introduction to this stuff. I don't know any more about it than, than you do right now. Um, Canes of Authority Treaty. Now, if these treaties exist, uh, there will be a way to find them. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, the Wampum Treaty exists because to uh, Washington to protest the Catholic Church and the 13 people, uh, 12 people in the, in the child and, uh, and, and my wife that went, um, uh, a few of us went to the museum, me and my wife went to the museum actually, and we, we saw some of this stuff. Uh, and again, Peace Pipe Treaty, they have a long, let me see this, I get my hands on this, long silver pipe that's in the museum. It's waiting to get smoked up on, you know, but that's a Peace Pipe Treaty. Now with the pipe of one of these generals when they sat down with your Aboriginal forefathers. The Wampum Treaty sits in the museum with a translation. The people of the boat, Europeans, right, or the people that said they're Europeans, but really will not have authority over the people in the canoe. The people in the canoe, that's you, will not have authority over the people in the boat. We're supposed to share the land and not interweave with each other. Treaties were signed. And what do you have? You have the statues. Ras Ben depicts what the statues in, uh, in, in Philadelphia mean. They signed a treaty, then they murdered the Indian chief. Then they bred the woman. The Indian chief's what woman? And he explains that's why those statues in uh, Philadelphia, the, the 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 settlers, right, have knife have a knife behind their back, a contract or a treaty in one hand and a knife behind their back. And this is what it's all about. So. Action Anglia, Mercia, Northumbrian groups, Cleopatra and Cowards, or the white tribes of Europe, were covered under Noah's Ark Treaty. Remember now, Noah's Ark is not a boat, per se. It's a treaty. So, those are the six treaties. Now, here's the law. Every civilized nation, civilized, dwell on that word for a while. Every civilized nation in the world is governed by these six Aboriginal treaties that make up all international law. Hence, from them come the law of nations, which has clan mothers who hold territorial rights. In order to be part of these treaties, you would have to belong to a tribal unit that was ruled by the Casas Omesis, which is known in international law as... All right, let's stop there. Um... I'm going to uh, listen to the six parts um, and see what I get from it. Uh, if you would like to uh, participate, all you have to do is simply listen to the six parts. Uh, next Sabbath, next Saturday, I guess we'll have a, a video up uh, discussing it where we can leave uh, healthy comments. And see what information people have dug up, or we can just do. We will you just add your comments to this, and then next Saturday we'll analyze the comments if, uh, if it's worth making a video about. And you know, um, share your opinions and feelings about this. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna let everybody you know get their their say, and you know, because um, we've lived in a place where. Your voice hasn't really mattered, so, you know, change a few things. All right, have a good evening.